Hello, hello, welcome to a new Pioneer video. Today we are going to replay uh, my favorite deck in the format, Waste Not, which you seem to really like the last time I brought to the channel. And this version of the deck is my own version. Uh, well, mine and from my, my very good friend, Seikin MTG, who you can find on Magic Card Market if you want to buy some singles. <clears throat> Uh, jokes aside, uh, yeah, this is how we like to play the deck. We tested this, as I'm, I have mentioned in the past, intensively for the last Pioneer Re Regional Championship, which was in Lille. And we like playing, there's a, different, a couple of different things from the like stock deck list. And I think they are still better than what you can find in like regular challenges and whatnot. The first and most important one is Maze Mind Dome. Maze Mind Dome is uh, strictly better for Waste Not than Recon or Van Buster. Van Buster is a better card in general, overall, but Maze Mind Dome is just amazing in this deck. We'll see that. The main issue is the Scry 2. Like, we're playing 26 lands, but we're also mana hungry deck. It's a bit weird. We probably could play 27. And there are many times where you have a 2 land hand with a Maze Mind Dome. The scry ability really gets you out of that situation. Also, it's just four cards rather than three. You don't get a 4-4 four four later, which is like Bambas is three cards plus a 4-4. Four four. Here you just get four cards, but it's better still. And the four life is also relevant. So like there's so many things here going on. It's just better. Also, there's a retro version of this card with the old border that is just chef's kiss. I like playing that. The other card that I love and I don't see people playing is uh, Deadly Cobra. This card is insane. Uh, people are playing like Midhood Massacre or Extinction Event, those kind of sweepers in the main. And I think Deadly Cobra is just leagues better than any of those. This can single-handedly beat Amalia or Phoenix. In game one, if you play this versus a Phoenix opponent and you assign their Phoenixes, it's basically game over. Because they can kill you after that, they can kill you with a Shredder, and you have a million removal spells. They can kill you with Hall of the of Storm Giants, you have four field of ruin for those. And with Picklock Planster, which they are one twos. That one three, sorry, it's hard to kill with those. And there are no other ways of killing you, game one. So this is very powerful. And also like you can use it versus Lotus as a five mana surgical situation. This is a, an awesome card. Apart from that, we are not playing creatures that don't win the game on their own and by that I mean we're not playing Graveyard Trespasser Yeah, Soldred and Aklasot Aklasot is wonderful it's like these two cards right for me are what are making the deck playable right now and I think they, they really change how this deck plays in many matchups and gives you the, the leg up the Cyborg we are trying a couple of Leyline of the Void because Phoenix is a decent matchup, but it's very hard still. A lot of times, how you lose is you start creating resources and everything, and they just top deck a Treasure Cruise or, a, or more better. They top deck a Picklock Prankster that fills their graveyard because you have played Go Blanks and everything, and they go Prankster into Treasure Cruise and they get they just overrun you with resources. So Leyline is the best way of stopping that. And I really want to try it. It could be a one-off, a four-off. You know, you are allowed to play any number of ley lines. The rest of the cyborg are just a collection of black cards. The only one that I really, really like is the Raven Man, which I think is fundamental versus Lotus. So so decent versus Ur white control. It's just a two mana threat that helps with your normal plan, but also just puts pressure onto your opponent because well, versus combo decks, having pressure is very important. That's the introduction that was very long. Let's go to the games. Okay. Um, no land hands. Not what we want. This is a wonderful hand. Probably putting Seldred on the bottom. Like, you love to curve up. Like, this would be a wonderful 7, but well, it's a mall. It is what it is. Mm. What do you have for us, opponent? It's a Giganta deck. It seems to be some sort of. Okay, I have no idea. 
what this is. Grammatic insight. Okay, this seems to be a sort of combo deck. Cofon is calm. We want to kill that one. Prodigy. An O1. ETVs with X counters. At the beginning of your active, if it has one or more plus one plus one counters on it, you may remove one. And if you do, you draw a card. Wow. This cycles and then gro grows things. So I'm going to take that one. Okay, so <laughs> that was really fun. Let me let, let me do this. One second. <laughs> My opponent opponent wrote this on the chat, and that was extremely funny. I, ha I wanted to share that. We're going to take the prof's idiotic memory because we have removal for the rest of the cards, but that was extremely funny. Okay, opponent played that. We are going to kill it because we don't want to let them draw. Castle Lock, we can go. Using Liliana to kill the scamp thingy is not great because when it dies, it pings. And it will ping the Lily, but it is what it is. We are fine trading. I guess, I imagine that if we just trade and trade and trade, at some point we will win the game. Interesting taking the Giganta there. Was most certainly a choice. I'm going to go Lily Plus. I'm going to discard the Sunken Citadel, which is also one of the new additions. Uh, yeah. But we want the untapped land for the Maze Mind Tom next turn. Let's see what our opponent does. They discarded the monsters, right? Right. Go for his camp. Let's let's keep plusing. I think I think it makes sense to plus. If I minus here, they can play with fire. The lily, we just lose it. it um, yeah. I will draw right away because it's more convenient. Wow, 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 what happened there? Okay, opponent went five mana, draw three cards. Oh, that's really good versus us. Here, now. Oh no, no, the treasure cruise. I don't know what happened. I, I, I lost. Or I was looking away. And... Okay, let, let me check the log. So, Maze Man Tom activates. They go cast treasure cruise, draw three, and then they drew three with an inspired idea. And now they cannot have more than four cards in hand. Which, you know, they're not going to have more than that. It's now a good moment to minus Lily, probably, because they may not have a play with fire. And even if they do, they have to use it on their turn. They uh, probably should have drawn it first. But probably, I mean, 100%. Well, they have drawn a lot of cards. We are going to do the same, just a little bit slower. If they just go Giganta, like Giganta go, Wow, Treasure Cruise and this new spicy card. ETB draw two, then discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery card or a creature card with flying. Wow, 
What is our opponent doing? That this is actually a lot of spies. They were right. Uh, I'm going to scry. Cling to dust. We have a lot of mana, but we also have a lot of things to do with our mana. I don't think I want to draw a cling to dust. Draw. They have to discard because they cannot have more than four cards in hand. That's like so weird. Okay. Uh, for card advantage purposes, I will do this and discard. Well, empty, empty. Really good versus Lily because you make them discard and then they they get the whole turn cycle to have the card. We're going to draw. Just you know, generate some cards. Draw them. Push. Uh, right now I'm going to force is the other scholar, and I think we are looking fine. I would love to find um go blank to exile the graveyard, make sure they don't resolve a third pressure cruise. But this does look very spicy. Our opponent was right. One thing Maze Mind Tom does it's also it makes very trivially easy to achieve revolt. Yeah, I paid the one, I believe. Turn on. Okay. Game four life. <laughs> Okay, do Lily. Sounds wonderful. Classic Lily versus Treasure Cruise battle, which you cannot, you can only find in this format right now. Well, our opponent is completely out of resources, and we just have to find a way to close out the game. We are going to use the filler ruin at some point, mainly, mainly because we have a Seldred on the bottom of our library. One of the fun things about this deck is you are one of the very few decks in Pioneer that very few. You are one of the decks in Pioneer that gets to Oh nice. Uh we'll draw because Lily is probably better than the average draw in my deck. And if it's not, it's like like sure. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather have the Lily. Not by much, but I'd rather have. So yeah, with this deck you can reliably shuffle your deck, and that's awesome. Because for example, when you're playing Phoenix and you mull to six or five or whatever number, whatever you put on the bottom, it's staying there, and you have to take that into account. Okay, so as as mentioned, let's use this. How? What's their plan? Are they playing like a some sort of blue red? stuff i mean it's obviously blue red draw a lot of cards i don't know what's the end game like just playing city city things and win with those so we did discard the gay rich sanitarium which makes ways not a lot worse i'm going to draw because if i find whites what's going on with this maze mine tomes Fancy. Here is my computer. Okay. I need a new computer. Well, it's been like that for a while already, right? Okay. So, Gale Rich Sanitarium is the key to this deck, right? Because now they have no cards in hand, so Lily does not, doesn't do much. But with Waste, not, with, sorry, Waste Not doesn't do much. But with Gale Rich Sanitarium, well, they will always have stuff to discard. Do I want to draw right away? Probably. If I find Seldred, Aklasot. I play the land because, well, one less damage with the castle. I'm going to kill that thing. They look like an interesting deck, I don't know. So weird. They're not conceding, huh? No interest right now in going Lily Ultimate. Don't know how many basics they play. 
Probably nobody does, because nobody has seen this deck ever. Something you should keep in mind when playing this deck. You have four filler ruins, and there are many decks in the format with, who play less than four basics. Phoenix usually plays three islands. Uh, for example, the, the handshake list from the Arena Championship of um, Vampires played what did they play a two two swamps and a mountain amalia usually plays one or two basics you know th those kind of things so you keep those in mind and just try to to time your filler ruins accordingly well this could be scary but something something scary could happen here oh is this the guy the ex X blue guy, yeah. And at the beginning, yeah, I have a fate. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. I'm going to start using this. Maybe I, we can, maybe we can take them out of red mana. That happens with Phoenix. They have no mountains. Oh, they missed. Okay, 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 okay. No red mana for you then. Also, we are thinning out our deck this way. Am I going to Liliana Ultimate? Could do that. And after that, I feel a ruin whatever they have left. Sounds like a plan. Unless they concede. Deadly Cobra. Could deadly cover up to see their deck? Uh, oh, I'm going to do that, yeah. I'm going to extract stuff from their deck. Uh, I'm going to, like, yeah. So I low key don't want them to have this. But I think this is the best split. Because now I can kill this, they have. Two islands to beat me, and I'm going to deadly cover up in an attempt. They should concede with deadly cover up on the stack, but I will attempt to see their deck. A silent two, a one, and a three, and a one, two, three. And let's take out the treasure cruisers, of course. Uh, Okay, what are we seeing here? Magmatic Insights, Soken Sun, more Prof's Eidetic Memory, more Scholars, more Inspired Ideas. So it's just, the plan is to abuse Prof's Eidetic Memory with cards that really work well with counters and with extra... Uh -huh. They play only two Treasure Cruises. They play Magmatic Insight and they only play, play two Treasure Cruises. That's interesting. That's a choice. Now... There's a chance they cannot play whatever they draw, so Liliana and Waze Not start working together. Ooh, that, wow, two of those. Ah, they're legendary. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, being legendary makes it a lot weaker. Discard their opponent. Two creatures? Yeah. But why are they still playing? Because I'm behind on clock. Soldred. Soldred has to be awesome versus, versus them. They only draw cards. I didn't see. Do they have any way to kill a Soldred? I, I didn't check, to be honest. Uh, oh, there it is. Mummy. Mummy is home. Now we gain life. I love the interaction with Soldred and the castle. It's just, it's just wonderful. Should I have taken a screenshot of their deck? Yes. 100%. Sorry about that. You can go back and watch the deck, but I should have a screenshot. But yeah, Soldred has to be awesome, right? The whole deck just draws extra cards. It's a spicy deck. I don't know if it's good, but it's spicy. 
Okay. Ah, no need to go blank, I guess. Play this, style something. I want to find an Aklasot because it kills faster. Thank you for eight, and next turn you are dead. Hugues. Hugues is like a, the, the most evil for the world, something like that. Sure. Is that considered with the trigger of solder on the stack or is the the stack empty because I missed the trigger? How how is the policy on that? Ah, okay. So Leyline seems decent. It's still a, it's a weird deck, you know? I don't think Deadly Cover Up is going to be good. So ley lines are better than that. They do have creatures. They have a bunch of creatures. But I think Fatal Push kills basically all of them, except for the 3 2 guy. The Raven Man says At the beginning of each end step, if a player discarded a card this turn, create a 1 1 Blackbird token. I, I want to bring this in because they discard their own cards. Yeah, I want like the grindy cards. Probably do this too. Probably don't love Herless Art. They do a lot of counters and things. Mm -hmm. I want all these cards. To take out Cling to Dust is just fine. Doesn't do. It's, it's filler. It's a filler card. Can take out one Fatal Push, right? They didn't play that many creatures. Uh, 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 uh. What's the last card? You know, it's going to be one of the ley lines. We are going to have just the one. I think the removal is important. They are, in the end, they are a creature deck. So they have to play creatures to win. And they don't explode. This, like Phoenix, for example, they will go, no, nothing in play, nothing in play, nothing in play, boom. Three phoenixes, you die, and that's you play that different, right? Okay, that's a scary start, actually. Hmm. I hate how Magic Online shows you the card with like two faces or adventures, or looks kind of fun. So, this is going to draw one card. I think I can afford to waste not here. But it's true that if we do not find a land, we're not going to be happy. But since they have cards of their of their own that actually trigger my waste not, I think I'm happy playing it. Okay, so technically that thing is a two for one. But then again, now they have a zero one, so it's not really it's a one for one at least. A one for zero. Um, it can trip. Let's let's put it this way. It can trip and we will see if the old one Oh they didn't reveal Giganta. That's most interesting. Very interesting. They didn't reveal Giganta. Okay, let's play Maze Mind Dome and pass the turn. What's going to happen, I will tell you, is they are going to trigger the Legends Rider, they are going to discard a land. I will get the waste not trigger and use that to draw with my maze mind though. And if it doesn't happen, well, we just take two damage and we are not sad. I'm not sad, you're sad. I'm not sad, you're sad. This guy is so annoying with the trigger every time it hits. 
I'm not fine. Yes. That's great. Land. You see? A regular bambuster would never do could never do this. Land on top. Why did I waste an scry? What? Oh, no. Okay. Go blank go. I don't even know the name in Spanish. I promise you it's not go blanco. They discarded land land. Okay, now I have four mana. Assuming if I just play soldier, I win. Play soldier, trigger the shredder, which will give me probably more mana. Yeah, as it usually happens. Okay, consider. If they play two spells, they trigger their Shredder versus Waste Note is a, is a terrible battle. For the Shredder. Oh. But what was I wa hoping to find? I don't know. Maybe I should have just drawn. This looks like an easy game to win. Of course, they can find an answer for children now and beat me. But we'll see. No llegando. Wow. That's Walsy. Are we in the race? Shredder versus Sheldred and Waste Note is basically a liability. <laughs> now they are taking two damage and two in my Waste Note. That's. That's not good for you, opponent. Ah, Maze Mind Tower. I love you so much. Okay. Can I draw a, a, a land? I, I want to draw a land so I will scry. Because if I get a land, even that one, that's fine. Can waste not. They just reach, keep the untap one. Do this, trigger the, the shredder with double waste not in play, it's always wonderful. They discard spell? Oh, yeah. Well. I think we are going to win. I assume we are winning this game, but I have no idea because I don't know what our opponent is doing. But we saw their whole deck, right? It seemed like we should be winning. Are they winning without killing Seldred and dealing with the waste nodes and uh, so many things? Narse, that's the cyborg card you brought in and you lose your Giganta for that? You cannot play that, you cannot play that, you are going to die! You were rest! You killed yourself! <laughs> okay. Opponent had their fun. Um, I'm just checking, is this a, this is a normal, there's only pioneer leagues, right? There's no, like, competitive and non-competitive, or friendly, or whatever. What have you. Let's go play again. Okay, we're ready now for our round two. That wrong one was long. Ah, the terrible mana this mono black deck has sometimes. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable how bad this mana can be. Luckily, we are on the play. We are going to go Sunken Citadel on black. Fill or Ruin play waste. And then, hopefully, either Liliana their play, their creature, or just. Uh, Thoughts is there. Yeah, playing Sunken Citadel is a risk. It's a risk I'm willing to take. I think the card is very powerful and it really leads to some, I'm not going to say like busted draws, but you get a lot of value out of it. Black. 
This is a, the classic like, you are only going to name black, you should only name black to activate castle and those kind of things. Phoenix? You have a spell pierce. We are going to do the spell pierce check. We are probably not going to be able to Liliana next turn. Spell pierce check. It's okay. And what we can do is use the Sunken Citadel mana to activate Filler Ruin. And then with that swamp we search, we play the Thoughtsies. Uh, and Tapland. Oh. Oh, mama. So Lily versus Phoenix is not the best thing in the world. It's kind of a liability. Because you go plus and they discard Phoenix. It's like, oops, what did I do? This matchup, I still haven't figured out. It's like sometimes you just beat them. It's amazing. Like, in, it's insane. How? How bad you'd beat them. And, and other times, it's like, like what, what I said at the beginning, right? They just go... This is also pretty cool because they give you the mana. Now I can kill you with Heartless Ad. It's like, they go top deck treasure cruise, kill you. And you're like, oops, what did I do? Okay. We're going to blast the Lily. Let's see what we draw here. Thoughts. I see I'm plusing Liliana, discarding Castle. I hope they discard a land. So I get all of my mana. Basically. They discarded a creature. That's fine then. Let's do Thoughtsis. Take Treasure Cruise. Draw a card. When you are doing my Thoughtsis draws a card, it just feels so unfair. Opponent gave up. I don't think we we were winning this game yet, but but I I mean we were looking very well. Okay, unlicensed hearts I like, Mace Mind Tom I like, Dab Digger Sketch I like, Dures I like, Leyline Leyline Deadly Cobra. These are the cards I like. These are the things in my jig. I don't love Sol Edith, especially after war with uh, John Pyromancer. And as I mentioned, I don't like Liliana. I think it's a liability. Sometimes, especially on the play, it's fine. If you do what we just did, Liliana is the best card in the world. But there are so many times Liliana is terrible. That, ugh. Uh, okay, what, what else? What else don't we want? I remember this morning, like, mm. that one. I don't know what. When I was doing the sideboarding this morning, like, it really fit. It was very easy. Was I taking out the deadly cover ups? I don't think so. Uh, maybe a couple of fatal pushes? Like, you don't want that many spot removal. Especially with the cover ups. Okay, this is a solid hand. Grab the Cage is not the best. It, it's better versus Amalia because it stops company and return to, it stops return to ranks company and combo X X Court of, Court of Colin. That's the one. But I must say that here is just medium. It is true that now, like, there are not going to be many finishes in our future, and that's nice. Ah, John Pyro. This is a problem of taking out some removal spells, that if they really have the turn 2 thing, we could be in trouble, and they have it. Luckily, we have Soldat and Aklasot, which both are great, and both require basically Lightning Axe. 
And sometimes versus Aklathoth, they discard a land with the Lightning Axe, so you get a token back. That's pretty cool. Earth attacks for two. Sorry, John Pyro attacks for two. Uh huh. Can I get a. Okay, that's a spell at least. And one that goes through spell pierce. Like, these two cards are fine. I would rather have a ley line, of course, and like sap everything down. But this is still fine. You don't need both. That's what I wanted to say. They are a bit redundant. Big Lock Prancer, Brazen Borrower, and Treasure Cruise. I want to take the Big Lock because it enables the Cruise, but also it triggers the Jump Pyro. So, yeah, Big Lock is fine. I wanted to take the Brazen because it's the answer for Sheldred. But I think having Sheldred and Aklasot, I think we are fine taking only one, not taking it, sorry. And they may be tempted to bounce the hearse now. Which I wouldn't like if they do that. Sell that into Aklasot is so powerful. Such a powerful uh curve out. And they have a very they have a medium hand. Hall. Hall is annoying. Like, obviously, at some point, you just find, um, I would say, feel a ruin, and you're fine, but. Do I want to play Sheldred? Do I care? I play Waste Note, and then Exile, they, neg they take, they negate it. Nah, I think I have to play Sheldred. They have the Brazen Borrower there, they will use it at some point. I want to use my mana. Okay. The Jump Pyro Mines is annoying. I do think Aklasot helps because before, if they have 5 6 tokens, Soldred stab stabilizes you, but uh, it's hard. And with Aklasot, it's like, yeah, yeah, your tokens are 1 ones, right? And my, I have a 4 4 life linker. It's like, um,. Empty the Warrens versus uh, Battle School, right? The classic leg Legacy Battle. Okay. And we are trying, going to try to not let them play that negate. This little hand is fine. Hmm. And that stimulus. Is this a Drake? Drake is very annoying, but again, that's it trades with Aklasot, and Aklasot will come back after that. So I like that's another reason why I like the Aklasot. Also, if we just draw all the deadly cover up here. It's kind of GG. Sheldred. Yeah. Aglasot. It is. Uh, if they have a removal spell with I, so I'm just going to activate this. I, I could technically go like, no, I want to queue, but not really. Because if we queue with I, if they kill the thing with I, so they have the anything we, we just die did you find it well they're looking for it that's for sure okay we die Cracking Drake is amazing, it's a, a wonderful card and it's so good versus us. 
just kills you super fast, right? We had no interaction in this game, and it's so. Like we had graveyard hate that didn't do anything. That's that's the problem versus Phoenix. You can that can happen. And that's what I don't really know how to cyber. I I think the leak over up is fine. Because still, silent the Phoenix is is very powerful, and it's, it's a slow but good decent answer versus the thingy. I don't know maybe Herless at sucks because it doesn't really kill um uh Shredder when Shredder grows. Maybe push is better. As as mentioned, I have to toy around with the numbers. Probably hers is not what you want. Uh, speaking of, this hand is good. Can be very good. A double waste knot plus go blank can be so nasty. So so nasty. And on the play, the first waste knot is most likely to resolve. So let's see. But it's always so weird. We, we play seven targeted discard spells. It's always so weird when you don't have them. Because you play seven. Seven is a lot. I'm not sure I would play more if I could. Like, I can play eight and I'm not playing that. So. There was Inquisition of Kosilek. Would I, would I play that? No idea. Now, ideally, this results. Step one. Step two, we find a duress or a thoughtsis, and I can go waste not thoughtsis, waste not duress, and set up the goblin for next turn, which is the the payoff. Obviously. I can have negate now. Link to us. That's not bad. What if I? I'm going to bait with, like, do you want to counter this? This is very counterable. It's really, really annoying to play versus an license first. Like, I'm happy if this resolves. And I'm not unhappy if it doesn't. I'm going to instantly... You want to proactively assign the graveyard because Treasure Cruise doesn't give you a window, right? Also, this is a deck, but usually if I have two ways not in play, I will activate Gale Rich Sanitarium no matter what. Because if they discard a land, I get four mana, so it's basically a ritual. If they discard a creature, pff, you are doing whatever you want. But versus Phoenix is always a bit weird. But I think I'm going to do it anyway here, if they allow me. With only the one, I don't think so. Here, I think, I think I'm happy doing this. This is the this is the big interaction for the deck. This and the Field of Ruin one. Like the Sunken Citadel is just insane in these situations. Okay, this could be scary. But the moment they dis if they discard a land, we get the Goblin unlocked. And that's. That's so scary for them. They only have one mana up. So tempting to discard a land here, right? What are they taking? You can take Treasure Cruise because you are going to fill the graveyard. They took Negate. I'm going to discard. A class of this fine, actually. They discarded a creature. Now I have two two twos. I, I, I think it's. With double waste not, I think you you should activate all the time. Now I'm scared because we know about the negate, but we'll see what happens. If they tap out, Go Blank is just going to destroy them. But keeping negate up forever is not really how Phoenix wins games on Magic the Gathering. So keep that in mind too. Let's activate this again. If they give us mana, I play a class of. If they give us 
Theatres, we get more tutus, and if they give us cards, well, we have more cards. It's a win-win situation for us, I think. Yeah, I, I can raise them. I can raise a couple of phoenixes, and even I can deadly cover up at some point. You know, like we loot and we get double tutus. So much. A big lock plaster here. Attention if pocket. Attention if pocket. They hit a slate of hand. Okay. Are they going to reanimate the phoenixes here? If they manage to reanimate phoenix and keep negate up. That would prove problematic. Okay, no negate. Ooh, triple phoenix? That's a lot. Slate of hand. Mm. That's a sus. Pathway. Spell Pierce is a. Is, hmm. Three Phoenix, huh? That's all. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I want to attack. I think we are winning the raid. You know. I'm going to go blank then. This prevents extra turn shenanigans. And plays around spell beards. Uh, the fourth finish will kill us. They cannot have two. If they discard two creatures here, it would be amazing for them. I mean, they discarded Prismari and Treasure Cruise. So we are going to draw four cards and hope we find a Dudes. What's going on? Why? Why am I not drawing? Okay, now. Draw, 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 draw. Could do the same, but if they have a spell pierce, it kind of sucks. The thing is, we only die to another phoenix from the hand, which they could have. But if I activate Gaia Reads, what am I hoping to get at that point? Yeah, let's go for this. I don't think we can play our own spell piece now. Maybe I should have just gone for the Atlas of. You know, from the beginning. Let's Play Aklasot and forget about the originals. What are they discarding? They discarded more non lands, so we get more cards. Now there are way too many, of course. Nothing to do with them. Okay. Your go. We die to Phoenix. We die to another Prismari command. We die to. We don't die to many things. Phoenix is the main one for that. Rackling Drake doesn't kill us. That's, that is not especially scary. They have a negate.
can negate plus solver if they don't have lightning axe they die I think that's like no negate sorry I can go blank plus solver I think that's the way to go. They negate. Because they have a negate, right? We know they have a negate. And their last two cards have to be exactly Lightning Axe plus something. Of course, the something is not relevant, it's just the Lightning Axe that is relevant. I think it's our best play. We could also get a rich sanitarium trying to find a rest. But they negate it anyway. So yeah. If I knew their hand if they have a land what i can do is fill or ruin the hole no but they have they they probably have um they have more islands right there's only one here they have to negate this if they don't negate this we win. i think we win well no they could technically have uh they could cast hard cast lightning axe. I think we are going to win with the soil red, but if there's a lightning axe, we die. Yeah, there's a negate. Maybe they don't have a stop in the active. Let's see. That was a close game. Probably, probably could have played better. I think the turn, we should have played the deadly cover up that turn. You know? Forget about the spell pierce, just deadly cover up, side lord your phoenixes. Lose to spell pierce if they had it. But there was something like how they played. I thought they had it. How they, like they thought and they finally left. Like they, I don't know. Maybe they were trying to represent the spell pierce. Maybe you... maybe like they played that pathway slowly because they were thinking about um yeah they have they have the axe basically that's what they're saying in the in the chat they have the axe I said they needed axe plus another card but they only need axe because they have the mana. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I think maybe don't play around the spell pierce and we win. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know if it was right, though. We were winning the race at that point. Of course, they had the pick locks and everything, but. What's the push? That was another option, maybe. Could have, like, tried to loot and then fill or try to find a push and fill or win. I don't know. Because we had eight, exactly. Hmm. There was a way to win this game. We didn't find it. So here we are. 1 1. Okay. Well, we are on the draw with a decent hand and playing the mirror. No, green. Ooh. Ooh. Do I want to thought six? Things, if I do not thought six here, what am I doing? Fatal pushing something? I need to think. I think, I think I'm going to keep up the push. Also, Thoughts is like the only car we have to trigger our ways not, so I would like to have that. 
This is a Sylvan Karyotid, that sucks. That sucks too. Uh, can I afford to waste not? Probably not. Ah, sucks. I have to read these cards? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. It's beer. This searches for lands. In this case, Nictus. I presume. And the other, the other thing are good, big stuff. I have to take the tribute thingy, right? It will draw so many cards for them. I must say I have no idea what these decks play nowadays. Sun can see that little. They are totally going to to Archmate's arm for Nyctos or they should they are going to Archmate's arm for something and depending on what they do we will decide whether to fill or ruin the Poseidon or the possible Nyctos or what Because right now Nyctos is zero mana. Ah, I think I have to take this. This is two lands. I'm, I'm setting them back to one. The only problem with this play is I'm unlocking them to play the Boseju they have in hand. That's not great. So maybe that was a mistake. But now we are going to draw Liliana because we are masters. And nothing matters. Almost. Well, I can waste note and exile and take the creature. Yeah, leveler. They can play the leveler from the graveyard and attack me for quite a bit. And after that, I will probably cover up without. Collecting evidence. Okay, three. They can play another Nick. So that's plus mana because of the Sunken Citadel. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like it. Any more than you do. Four. They have exactly eight. To flashback to an Earth Fittescape leveler and draw a card, and they will kill my Waste Knot, presumably. Yeah, since I'm going to play the the Wrath, I'm going to jump here. I could not play the Wrath and play the um, Aklathor, Deepest Betrayal. Like, if I play Aklasot and they miss for a turn, that would be awesome. But the moment they play a creature, they trigger this and they trigger Kyora, and it sucks. I think we're a bit behind. Okay, Sunken Citadel. Yeah, yeah, I'm not blocking that. Does this have reach? Because it's like a very big monkey. No, not big enough for reach. Okay. Also, we are at 3 life. You know, that's not a lot. If I play Thoughtseize, I die. Maybe not play it? So why would I play it? Well, to, to cycle like Lasso, of course. Oh, they have a land card in hand? Awesome. Aklasot is so good. Unbelievably good, I think. It's... If they draw a land here, I think we just we win the game. If they draw a creature, it's going to be rough. 
Cathedral a creature that triggers Kiora. Leyline of the Guild. Okay, that one is fine. That one is fine. Right, doesn't matter. I'm going to champ, because why not? And now we are off, off to races. I'm very happy I played the Aklasot. So it seems they don't play elves anymore. Is that, is that it? No elves. Can anybody confirm? No elves. So play this on black. Well, it's Aklasot versus a very big monkey. The thing is, if they play whatever they draw, we are drawing two cards a turn. And if they don't play it, we make them discard it. So it's win win for us. Passing the turn. Okay. Like now we are drawing two cards a turn, thanks to Aklasot. Being amazing. Oh, we are going to kill that Nyctos running to Nyx. How are they? Oh, is because we were attacking Kiora. Yeah, I'm like, how are they at 16, right? Because Kiora. Feel or win. I will clean to last something, I guess. We got so rewarded for the Aklasot. Amazing. Amazing. I love playing Waze now, it makes me feel powerful. A powerful Wither. Nice, 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 nice. Draw all the cards. Perfect. Kill that thing, and now they probably concede? No, they didn't even consider conceding. I will not activate that thing. <laughs> I mean, at some point, maybe, but not now. I can do this myself. Or thoughts is myself. Surprising to me that they didn't activate the Wolf Will of Heaven. Okay. Cavalier of Thorns does have reach. And they found Anictos and stuff. Okay. Can I get something good? <laughs> That's weird. Draw. That's not good. That's just me. Yeah. Full attack, gain the life, play the, the other class out, draw my card. Wow. Okay. Uh, like. So the land is not legendary, right? The, um, this thingy. Not legendary, so if, we, if two of our Aklathoth dies, we get two lands. So it's basically ramping. Uh, I did the go blank thingy, because if I draw a removal for the Cavalier, I don't want them to have um, stuff in the graveyard to get back. So now we are going to be attacking with Aklathoth, drawing, and then bringing the other Aklathoth back. That sounds good to me. So have drawn with the Maze Mind Tome first, because Liliana exists. Liliana existed. Yeah. yeah. Wow, we, are, we have 9 cards in hand. 10 cards in hand. They are all bad. Run abilities. Get a, a, a tap Aklasot. Start looting with the Gate of Rich Sanitarium. Loot away my things. Oh, mummy's here now. <laughs> I love this deck so much. And I love Aglasot so much. I think Aglasot is amazing. Well, you may not. I think we are winning this game, but I don't know what they play, what they do. Usually. Khan is what got you out of these situations in the past. Or like storm the festival into Karn. 
And now, Arch to this charm. Wow, that's powerful. That's very powerful. They can search for the. Um... Wow, what is that? Wow, 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 wow. Are we there? One, two, three, four, five. Five green to activate. That's a powerful card. My boy, that's that's a big boy, huh? Also, the land stays as a five five forever. It's not it's not until end of turn or anything. Why didn't they use Castle Garenbri? The thing costs Sally six. Well, the activation too, right? Okay, they can get a five five. But only one. Oh, Nictos. Ooh. Because it untaps the land. Wow. I'm learning so much today. Always learning, huh? Always be learning. They can make. Is it infinite? How does this work? Is this infinite mana? Now they make all of their lands into five fights and we die. Wow, we are there? I, di I didn't even know this was a, a thing. I didn't know about this combo or anything. Wow. So if I never tap out and I leave fat Fatal Push up, I just win? I mean, I didn't know about this combo. Now we know. I'm going to concede, okay? This is enough. Wow, that was insane. So cool. That was very cool. The Raven Man seems good versus this deck. We didn't see a single target for Fatal Push. Not one. I don't think this is, this has never been good. Invoke is medium probably. It does kill the ley line. Mm. What do I want? I don't think I want to this actually. Yeah, probably one. Probably want this because they play like big boys. Uh, mm, is mine too? Let's play like this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Wow, we got combo. Arsenal Charm. Uh, Arsenal Charm. It's a hell of a card. Maybe it's a good hand. Seems very low. It seems like a better hand. Probably taking out the Invoke Despair because, you know, it's low and everything. But... We can basically Sunken Citadel, then Feel of Ruin. Wow. 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 What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Hopefully they only have one relevant spell. And we take it with Thoughtseize and then Soldred Winds. Before anything happens. If they have more than one, we're dead. Nictos, Charm, and the Tribute to the World Tree. So, what's the pick? It's to be one of these two. I don't think I care about the Tribute right now. Probably the Old Scroll. Seems like the most annoying. Playing this. Hiding the field of ruin. If they have to go Nyctos go. Because if they untap with Nyctos and can and they activate it, it's just fireworks. But right now they don't have. Okay, so they do play elves. Where were those elves before? I got tricked into thinking they don't play elves. Well I tricked myself. Soldier at least is a very good clock. Super fast. And it's not like they have tremendous payoffs right now in hand without um, Nyctos. They can get the Nyctos with the Archdruid's charm. But then they don't have a creature, right? But they will have a million mana. 
not tapping out for the tribute or for a Kiora Behemoth Behemoth. Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. Like this because now they are top decking with access to 4 mana maximum. And next turn we play Seldred. Triple Leyline. Are you even supposed to play all of them? I guess you are. The Raven Man, that's a 2 1 for. Yeah, we are going to start attacking hard. Draw. Play the jump in the Urborg so I can do it. So giving them black mana doesn't really matter, I don't think. Now they have a lot of mana. Six for creatures. That's a lot. The Raven Man versus Janowar Elves as much, right? Okay, they are casting something. Presumably something good. Ooh, that thing. Maybe I should have killed the Castle Garden Bridge. That was probably a mistake. Not killing it. late now probably okay, we hit a cavalier do I want to attack or do I want to try to kill them with soldier let's just try because if I find a removal I don't think I think Soldier Triggers will win the game for me. If I find Nictos we die, I think. Yeah, Nictos kills us. Remember the tokens can block. What a weird game. This new deck is so weird. Okay, now they're dead. Not dead dead, right? The moment I can untap with Phil or Ruin, we we break the loop. Right, of the next toss thingy. They can make a 5 fight now, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Class of the best spread. I don't even care, think I care about it. Let's see, it's not my best draw. Feel or ruin that thing, but I, I think I'm, I'm going to just attack with the bird token. I can cast a log I can feel or ruin, I can do many things. Now, basically, playing a creature basically kills them. Playing like a big creature like that. Well, at least that one blocks the the bird token. And always remember, Cavalier of Thorns is not optional. They found an Ictos. Um, and they had a land in hand. Somebody else. Okay. 19 mana. Oh my god. 19 mana, and now we die? They can activate in response, the other thing, they have so much mana. Why now? They just kill us in response? Again? Did we die again? I cannot believe this. I'm hallucinating right now. 
I understand nothing of what happened in this game. I mean, of course, like, the least of Spain, they top deck the Nictos, they needed to beat us, the third one. Ah, huh? there's one here, another one here. That's the third one. It's insane. Seems like a decent combo. Of course, this, this is a fragile creature, right? He just never found a removal spell for it. But damn it. That was something. Yeah. What a weird game. They they had triple ley line. Remember that. Triple ley line. Hombre. Retuerta. Not a crack, Mr. Retorta. From go Retuerta I mean assuming this is the Christian Retuerta, I know because who else could be Christian underscore Retu? But you know uh, red black enjoyer has been are we playing the mirror? Do we maybe play in the mirror? In that case, it seems wise to resolve a waste now. If it's red black, vampires, and they just go land shorting, we happen to have the soldier set it. I need more water. Feel the ruin. Okay. Reconner Bambuster. Let's see who wins. Bambuster or, or, or makes my point. Why is our mana so bad? <laughs> I don't think I want to play that because I don't want to run into a. Um... Maybe I want to. Play. Um... I was thinking about Sheldred being annoying. You know, maybe we're fine with a Sheldred because I had the push for the Bambuster. Yeah, I didn't realize I had the push, to be honest. I just thought I was going to Liliana and they were going to Sheldred and I was going to Sack. Waste not, okay? Waste not mirror. Am I going to play Lily? In this situation, probably because I still control when when I activate it and what I do with it and yada yada yada. It's probably for the best. Going to discard the swamp most likely. Give give them mana. Ah, he give me a card. Uh -huh. Okay. I will take the card. Okay, now activate Bambastra and draw, I guess. I think I'm being efficient with my mana. Oh, okay, Bitter Prime between my Lily. But it was a two for one, right? Because I, I drew with the Waste Not Killer. So it was like a sort of two for one. And we both discarded, but I drew. They got mana back, that's always important. What do I fear? I fear nothing because you know. I class thought would be annoying. More drawing, okay. Looking for lands. Gaia Rich Sanitarium. The mirror, huh? 
I don't think I have ever played the mirror. It's not something you test. Now you do it because the, the deck is more popular. But it wasn't before. I'm going to fill or ruin the Gale Reach. I don't want him having the control on when to activate it. If he wants to activate it now, that's fine. Because now I, I get a slight advantage out of it. Especially because if he is, gives me mana, I, get, I have something to do with it, but he doesn't really have anything to do with his mana. I think this concept is very important of who who gets the activations and, and who decides. I'm just going to keep drawing extra cards. Oh, huh, that's nice. Let's pass. Second main phase. Thought sees you. What do you have? Sheldred, Ascension event. I don't really care about, about Sheldred with this hand. I will take the push. Draw. This is a wood. Name black. If he plays Sheldred, I can just kill everything. We'll probably not play it. Okay, the rest is fine. Two for one. Second way is not. Oh, starting to be annoying. We do have, I mean, the card advantage is in our favor, obviously. Yeah. Let's take out that castle. Probably as past the turn. We have a very reactive hand. Well, I can play one maze main turn. Like now I'm going to have to spend a card on that Bambuster. That's kind of annoying. But aside from that, drawing the extra cards and everything I think is better for me. Yeah, not going to. <laughs> uh, just floating the mana. Because I don't want to draw more lands, so floating makes sense. We're activating the other filler ruin. I'm fine, I have another catch. I'm so good at this game. What is this? Oh, cling to dust. Okay. Interesting choice. <laughs> Another waste. Let me just draw. Gain some life Erino. Ooh, I can eat your cling to dust. That's I don't think I want to do it yet. Because. I'm hoping for a Bambuster activation. I can take one. I can take one. Yeah, yeah. We are drawing our whole deck. At some point, I, I will find our new one, I guess. Ah, uh, sorry, a threat. Oh, there it is. It's not very good versus a stinging event. Well, let's find an answer for that first. Like this one. This feels like we just drew so much better. No? That's more or less what happened. We just drew a lot better, actually, I would say. Oh, 
Foxes is going to draw three cards. Wow, that's a lot. This is a test I'll recall, basically. Better, right? You, because for the two extra life, you take a card out of your opponent's hand. That thought is not easy to answer. Uh, hmm. yep. Yep, 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 yep. We give you the mana, and you can do with that as you please, I guess. That's a lot of mana. I love waste on is that so weird? Uh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Now fatal push is on. He kills soldier. I don't think it behooves him to activate the castle. Ugh. Okay, taking four. Really looking for an answer for, for Aklasot, I guess. Actually, the best answer for Aklasot is just to kill it and then feel a ruin the land. That's, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, that was a hell of a turn. That's, I mean, it's not it's not over yet. It's probably soldered. It should probably draw. Just because saving two life is better than not doing it. My own soldered, pretty nice. So weird, right? When there's only one soldier, like waste not can become a liability. Yeah, I'm not I'm not blocking. I promise you. I know what he has in hand. Oh, that's a nice little. I will play soldier anyway, I think. I think it's reasonable to do it. He may have like a overthrowed. That would be annoying. But if he kills Seldred, he's not kill killing Atlas. Hmm. Do you win? Why? Okay, that was the only target. No, Christian, no, Tio. You can you can push your own creature. You don't have to do that. I oh, Christian it. That was a mistake of his part. He would just cast it on Sheldra and that's it. Yeah. Get my mana. Shit to draw. Okay. Now that he has no la no cards in hand, I will use the Gay Rate Sanitarium. Because I have control over what I discard, I will discard lands. And he doesn't. Also, whenever if he fights a land, we get the Aklasot trigger. Okay, he found a, a waste not the fourth one. What a weird game.
So we draw now, right? And he gets a lot of mana. It's a turn. And he has like two draws, a castle plus the normal draw. Okay, now the castle. Seems like it's over. It's over, it's a me. Please, Mr. Petuerta, sacrifice. I would draw because why not? Push. So many triggers, my medical line is not handling this very well. Yeah, that dies. I attack. Ah, wow, wow, that was a hell of a game. So Invoke Despair comes in, Pithy Needle comes in, Maze Mind Down comes in, Petal Push goes out, Deadly Cover Up goes out. A license Hurts, the Raven Man, probably the Raven Man, right? Dures maybe is bad, maybe Fatal Push is better than Dures. Yeah, probably. Like it hits Bangbusters, it hits the land. Yeah. I just don't think you want to overload on this character. Well, this is a mega keep, we're keeping all the hands. Like, yeah, of course, if everybody's bringing a million Invoke Dispers, you want more Duresses. But I don't think it's right to have so many targeted discard spells. But maybe it is. Waste no. I would play mine. Man. I think playing my waste not here is fine. The thing is, you have Thoughtsis and Go Blanks. Having Dures on top of that seems like too much. What is this? Go Blanks. Uh huh. Okay. You draw two, which is not great. Can I find a swamp? I would like to find a land, and tap land. I can go. Not that one. Not that one, my friend. We're a bit behind. <laughs> We're falling very, very behind. I already, I already did a thumbnail with the waste node. What am I do, going to do now? Hmm. A thumbnail should I make? Bank Bistro. I 
And maybe Duress is fine, like in the end both players have a lot of cards in hand. Hitting this probably not right. But what am I, what am I going to do? Make a million mana. And activate my castle. That's probably it. Feel of ruin or feel of ruin, first of all. So my castle is safe. Uh, I will die to the land. Okay, he that, that that could get us back into the game. Unless this is a shot though. That's scary. Still the go blank. I believe, huh? I believe in the go blank. I believe I can try. <sighs> what if I bait him into with this? I just need a land to for him to scare a land. He discarded the land indeed. Now I have mana. But we're losing on board. Discarded Liliana and Vita Triumph. Okay, I'm drawing four, that's a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Not complaining about any of these. Four mana, so Thoughtsis one. Take Sheldred, make a bunch of tokens. Wow, we're getting back into this game. Castle. Sorry, not this. Needle, name Reconer Bombuster. Bombuster. Wow. That was a hell of a turn, I would say. Double waste not. It's just powerful. Uh, okay, that's powerful too. Can I draw a fill of wind? Now he's going to duress me and take probably my removal, but maybe the main swing tone, I don't know. I have no idea. Whatever he's drawing two cards, whatever he does. Oh wow. Wow. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> I'd rather draw another go blank. Go blank feels like unfair, completely unfair. Yeah. So that's fine. Trade with the token. I'm scared of the hives. The eye tyrant. Kind of have to do this. He gives me lands. I will psych. Okay. That's something. Lands. That's fine. In that case, I will draw. Can now activate Gaia Reach in response? Which is very annoying because I have no control. Ah, see. So he's presumably going to discard a bunch of lands.
Uh uh, we're lying. Well, maybe there's a chance. If I find something good, Asia. Interesting. We can do the rest, which is basically elimination. Ah, uh, I'm dead, right? What? Not really. Not like dead, dead, but pretty dead. Mm. Hitting that shoulder. What are we doing here? Sacrificing a token? No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Asia. I think it's a card I could consider playing in general. Not for this match, I don't mean. Maybe the rest is better than I'm giving it credit for. Maybe push just sucks. That's kill shoulder. On the play, we want to be more proactive, less reactive. And the sky spells are more proactive. Well, we have a waste not we keep, so we are keeping most 7 card hands, right? I have lands and spells. If we place a discard spell here, takes our waste not that's going to be annoying. Because our hand does very little after that. That's my face a lot on camera, right? I do that a lot. Maybe not too much, but a lot. Uh oh Well, we are going to have to start looting Both players loot, but I hope we get more advantage out of it The mirror gets popular It's just... I mean, it's not miserable to play, it's kind of fun, it's just so because the games take forever, right? No, nobody's killing the opponent. Uh, that kind of sucks. I want to let him loot now. Not up, up, because he's going to... Okay, that's what I wanted. To find a way to punish him. To discard him. Okay, what do you have? Go blank, go blank? Another gay rich sanitarium? Wow. I'm fixing his hand with the looting, not mine. Okay. Feel or ruin. And go blank. Keeping my Herless Act and my Swamp. And now I just have to hope a class out. I, I cook the class out and I win with it. That's not the best draw. I'll probably loot it away. Somebody's going to loot. No, I'm going to loot because if I find a land, this is basically car bandage. Sometimes I'm so good at this game. Hashtag blessed. So my swamps are cooler than his. I should win. That's not good. that's not fair, buddy. That's not. Fair. Ah, uh, yeah, discard your whole hand. So I have kept that swamping hand. Maybe. Got a bandage, two for one. We did many two for ones. This game, this matchup is so good. 
He has the castle. But we have five lands and we can play anything we draw. So that's interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't target that one. I would wait because if I draw a castle now, which I have three of. Castle, Seldred, would be awesome draws. This is so medium. Oh shit, do I want to do that? What do I want to name? Castle? <laughs> because, yeah, I have three castles in my deck. He has one in, in, in play, so. I think it makes sense. Oh, that was a top deck. Can I draw Invoke this pair? Yeah, well, good. Well, top deck battle not in our favor, it seems. Yeah. I dying. I was going. I wish I drew that Liliana. <laughs> Come on. Invoke this pair. Invoke this pair. Invoke this pair. Even my own children would be fine. Invoke this pair. Invoke this pair. Is the card we have for the mirror? We need. We just need to draw it. Well, we already drew one, right? No. What was last game? Uh, we are dying. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to die to the hive of the eye tide. Now we we'll go down to four, then to two. Can I draw a removal spell? That counts. All oh, that totally counts. Oh, yeah, it counts. We have waited, but he's not going to activate it when I have the Pill of Wind there, so... I don't know. Okay, Retuerta, time to not top deck. Please? He has draw a land, or not? He has the Looter. The the Rich Center again. Killing my Planeswalker? Sure. Do not top deck me, do not top deck me. Okay, looting. Not looting. Ooh, what a top deck. What a top deck. A bit too late. I think we are just there. To be fair, we have a bit more lands. But he has been. Maybe blind looting wasn't great, but we had all lands in hand. We need it, right? The looting. And we are going to die to this bankbuster. If my magical line wants to work. Play this. this like, the thing is, it's really hard to kill your opponent. You don't have many cards that actually, you know, do the killing. You who are this? Bambuster helps in that regard, in the killing part. I mean, in that sense, it's the only thing that I think makes it better than Miss Mind Tome. But I still think Miss Mind Tome is a lot better. No. Now we are like double dead. Yep. GG's. Mm. The mirror, huh? It came down to a top deck battle in the end. And he drew up the Bambuster. Oof, 1 3. Ow. Let's finish. LOL, I was literally, like, was literally listening to an audio and uh, a voice message from this guy, from Seiki MTG. So this is another mirror. Oh, sorry. What happened there? Autofocus, come back.
Fix it. Oh my god, the mirror. Another mirror. <laughs> Keep. Another mirror. So far. This is probably a mulligan, actually. This is a terrible hand. So yeah, go buy from him on car market or something. Oh. Did we learn something out of the mirror last game? I don't think so. That's all the, the, the deltas like 12 damage, right? I was aware of that. Such a fast club. Hi. Another mirror. We are 1 3 for God's sake. He's asking what what is this city hand I get? <laughs> okay, bye bye Akasot. Ah, you see, you see, you see. We draw we draw the wood card. Ooh, my mind tone? Bye bye. No, come on. Come on, come on. Well, Maze Mind Tom versus Waste Not. Who wins? Do I even want to. to scry? I don't. I just want cards. I don't care about drawing or not the land. I, I, I want extra cards. Drew it anyway because. I'm a mess. I want to play Lily. Uh, there's a Seldred edit waiting. There's a Fate of Who's for Seldred. Feel or win? Sure. For this game, we are looking good because we have extra cards. I think he's not playing exactly the same 75. I think he has Runkle Sprung. Which is a, a solid card to play. I'm drawing now because what if I find what if I find a discard spell? Maybe in the mirror the bombast is better just because it attacks and it ends the game at some point. Aklasot is coming. I must say, Aklasot is annoying, but it's not like he's going to to flip anytime soon. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That will justify playing Liliana at some point. I mean, he goes land Aklasot. I will play the Liliana then. Also, I tapped out this way because I expected him to use the filler ruin, and now I have Seldres Edit at the ready. What a city hand you get, huh? Okay, take my Seldres, probably. I, I, I think Seldres is the card to take. Huh? Sure. Whatever makes you happy, buddy. But advantage is my passion. My god line, sometimes I hate you so much. Why did you do that? Draw. I'm going to loot, I think. I have so many extra lands. I don't know. He just gives me mana here, that's fine. Like, we know four out of the six cards. And there are four spells. You know? Oh, uh oh, -huh. oh. It worked. Sadly, as I planned. Here we go. 
I'm going to save the filler ruins for the utility lands, of course. We have played it and kept the swamp to discard to my Gaia Bridge. Ooh, no, I don't want to activate. Well, maybe I do. Giving him mana on my turn doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> These games are. It's not that they are unfun, it's they are like just too many things. Like, people draw too many cards and they do. It's just not fun. It's like a control mirror where both players are drawing and drawing and drawing. And now I don't really have anything to do with my mana. Another push? Really? He's giving me cards, like actual cards. It's interesting. Getting card advantage out of this situation. Solid is so much more killable than Akaso. It's insane. Go blank? I kind of have to. I don't have to take the gold land. Do I? Hmm. Do I? I'm going to take the blue land. That's annoying. Oh, that's a nice draw step because he has a Thoughtsis and a gold land. Wait. I didn't mean to play that field of wings. I, I want to play a land drop every turn of the game. Here, half a land. Do I want to give him land? I want to give him eight creatures. Maybe I do. There were, sorry, eight creatures up. Four. No, this is. Yeah, draw two. I'm so tired right now. Okay, that's fine. Thoughtsies, take my go for the throat and play Akrasot, Deepest Betrayal, and we die, we die. We die, we die. Akrasot, it's a powerful card. Of course, we can draw something good. Like. Or on go blank. That would be fine. Another removal for a class of. That would be fine too. Yeah. We drew so many cards, but the double waste not recoup recoup all the card advantage we gain. So silly. You know? That's not the worst. Kind of hard to answer. Wow, this video, how long have I been recording this? He's surprised because we were only playing one Aklasot, and I was like, surprised I have a second one. But it's not going to matter very much. I'm so dead. What am I even supposed to do here? Probably discard Seldred, draw. Deadly cover up?
Okay. Step one, we'll get him back into the game to give him access. Step two, I'll get him back into the game. Probably killing a zombie token because eight damage is a lot. I'm gonna have to eat on this source. How, how do I get back from four wastelands? Four. Kill some fair. Had, we have seen roughly the same amount of cards, but I have one waste node and he has four. That's the mirror for you. Land abilities. Yeah. I'm really thinking, I, I just need to draw a deadly cover-up. Have a lot of mana, yoohoo. That's what I want. Maybe I have to, I have to lose here. I will kill your temple. Did they get something? I draw the cover up. How do I convert that into a win? I have no clue. Can deck. Like whenever I activate this, it does five cards. Ojo, ojo, oh, that that could be a plan. That could be a plan. Did, did it, was wasn't there a a land in a standard that like it milled but it milled for like three or four five not five five is a lot I think we are dead now Yeah, there are my waste notes. If I find it, had I found the the deadly cover up there? Milling him, it was like four activations of the Gaia Witch with no clock, you know. So maybe, maybe. maybe. Uh huh. So main mind tone comes in, invoke comes in, cover up goes out, pushes kind of have to go out. I think the Raven Man is still decent. Probably. We're not bringing Pithing Needle because there's there's no Bambuster to name here. No, this, seem, this sounds fine. Okay, yes. Good hand, good hand. Probably going with the rest first. Take the thoughtsies. Okay. We have taken the lily, which is like the only card that generates some sort of advantage. 
But I think I'm fine playing the Raven Mark here. Then I can loot with the Gale Reach Sanitarium, and that gets me out of Lily. <laughs> Ah, the mirror in me. So now we both get that up. Awesome. A token that cannot block. Okay. He will leave some removal in yeah. Now I'm in a bad spot. This <laughs> if a player discarded, so like now I'm going to discard him. He will get a token. Wow. Yeah, maybe I should have left the deadly cover up. That Raven Man is going to kill me. Lily will not activate? Like, it's not symmetrical this Liliana. Because of the Raven Man. You can go either up or down, but you, okay. you probably have to go somewhere. The final removal, like right now. Not really. Getting destroyed. So let's say I don't have the mirror figured out. Let's put it this way. Need an Aklasot? Probably. Not a card to draw right now. Wow, that Raven is just winning the game. Wow, that. This is terrible, but. Need an Seldred? An Aklasot? Yeah, now I'm basically dead. A Raven Man won the game. Should I have taken the Lilia? No? Maybe? I don't see how I get out of this situation. And Akla thought that turn would probably have been enough to stabilize. Maybe Sheldred? Two? But now I I don't see a way out. Okay. Not very exciting this league. I think we had very cool games actually. Not this one, this one was uh, beating. But dead, right? Seven. Ah. Ah, there it was. Okay, that was wow. One four, huh? We just beat the only non-meta deck. We lost two mirrors. 
lost to that mono green deck that really really destroyed us and lost to phoenix in a really neat close one i think there was something to learn here i hope you learned it please let me know in the comments what you learned so i can learn from you and that's it for me today tomorrow there will be another video so just check back okay do that for me see ya